And all in all, you know, it wasn't too bad. We had a couple things, but not too bad. You know, TSA, by the way, expecting 2.9 million passengers. That's a crazy amount of People, I mean, they say it's the busiest travel that we've seen for this season since 2001. Over yeah, that's 20 incredible. years. Uh, so here's the board for getting home. And Saturday and Sunday are the tricky days. And Sunday is probably one of the busiest travel days of the entire year. Some would argue it's a bigger deal than Wednesday. But I always say, if you had to go on Wednesday, of course you had to come back. And many of you <laughs> probably are going to pick Sunday. Uh, looking at the conditions that we have on the board, probably the things that pop out to me up front, Jane, is Chicago. Uh, we could see our first snow this weekend in Chicago. And although it's light snow, it's the first batch of winter weather, which I always feel like we forget what we're doing and we kind of have to remind ourselves. And also we're talking about O'Hare and Midway, two very big airports that even if you're not flying into Chicago, if we have isolated delays there or even cancellations, it can trickle down and cause some problems outside of Chicago itself. Yeah, that's one of the areas that we're going to have to watch for really closely as we close out the weekend. Of course, Sunday is going to be the day that most people are trying to get home. Uh, but we talk about some of the interstates. That's where my mind goes to where it could get a little bit tricky, slippery, icy. You get the snow that sets up. We already have winter storm watches up for portions of western Kansas. Nebraska. So keep that in mind. If you're looking on your Fox weather app and you see that little alert signal, read in, read up on your forecast for your area, what that looks like, what you should be traveling with, because it is going to be a slick ride and you could see visibility dropped at times, especially with this system kind of getting its oomph out of the plains. We're going to see those winds pick up. There's the outlook for the Great Lakes. So Sunday and Monday, those are the days that are going to be tough. So if you have wiggle room, especially uh, considering that many people drove, I mean, AAA said that the majority of travelers, yeah. even though we have 2.9 million for TSA to check in so and check out. How many people yeah. are going to visit somebody? You know, it's yeah. just incredible. So think about your travel. And if you did drive and you have some wiggle room, Saturday's the best day for the Ohio Valley. And then otherwise, if you miss that window, I would say maybe think about holding off until Tuesday because then you're completely in the clear. And who doesn't want an extra day with their family? Yeah. You know, good way of thinking about it. By the way, as the storm reaches the East Coast, it loses its punch. So yes, we're going to see rain across the East Coast, but we don't have as much of a snow component. And also the storm itself doesn't look as impressive. So, you know, we'll watch it for the East Coast. That time frame, by the way, is going to be Monday. So that makes the travel tricky day on Monday, but we're still looking at minor impacts. Uh, in fact, the weather that we had yesterday, much more impactful than what we're going to have late this weekend. And I got to say, I thought, you know, at least in regards to the East Coast. And for the most part, I think most of our, our airlines did a decent job handling what came through before the holiday. So fingers crossed that what comes after we can do the same. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.